It's another edition of Chelsea FC News with Brightness. This is the five things we at Stanford Bridge today as Chelsea took on Crystal Palace in the first game of 2021-2022 EPL season. Kindly subscribe if you are new. Click on the like button if you like today's video and your comments are welcome. Thomas Tuchel first 11 were Mendy, Chalabar, Christensen, Rudiger, Aspiliqueta, Jorginho, Kovacic, Alonso, Pulisic, Werner, Mount. On the substitute bench were Kepa, Chilwell, Emerson, James, Thiago Silva, Zoma, Havertz, Hudson Odoi, Abraham. Crystal Palace manager Patrick Vieira first 11 to start were Guaita, Ward, Gehi, Kuyate, Mitchell, Schlupp, Riedewelt, MacArthur, C, Zaha, Mateta, Ayu. On the substitute bench were Butland, Klein, Kelly, Raksaki, Hannam, Anderson, Street, Banks, Benteke. Five things we learned from the game. Number one. The supporters are back and they gave a lot of energy to the Chelsea players. Chelsea, just like every other club, had to play the whole of last season in an empty Stamford Bridge due to the Covid pandemic. But today, the start of the 2021-2022 EPL season, the fans were in their numbers and the impact of Tuchel's team was massive. The Chelsea team pressed and counter-pressed for the entire 90 minutes relentlessly. And this is the same team that Tuchel said most of his regular players haven't had enough pre-season preparations to start the league. He also thought the 120 minutes played against Villarreal in the Super Cup. But there was no sign of tiredness or lack of fitness or anything on the part of Chelsea players throughout the game. It's good the fans are back. Number 2. Christian Pulisic loves to play against Crystal Palace. Christian Pulisic scored Chelsea's second goal around the 40th minutes when he pounced on a spilled parried ball by Guaita in the box. This is Pulisic's fifth goal in five matches against Crystal Palace. He was threat throughout the 82 minutes he stayed on the pitch. Christian appears to just love playing against Palace. But most part of the game he was very hesitant in possession. He just at times didn't know what to do with the ball and lost possession easily. Something he must improve if he still want to be in Tuchel's plans. Number 3. Chalabar man of the match performance again today. Travo Chalabar was in the starting lineup today against after his stellar performance in the Super Cup. He was occupying the right side of the back three in front of Mendy. He once again had an excellent performance. He defended solidly at the back and was never caught out of position. He was also able to pass his way out when pressed by Palace's forwards. He capped his derby with a wonderful goal with a shot driven into the far corner from 20 yards. Number 4. Marcos Alonso has a sweet left foot and a goal threat in the Chelsea team. Alonso scored Chelsea's first goal of the season with a wonderful free kick inside the 27th minute mark when Mason Mount was fouled around the Palace box. The free kick was well taken that Guaita had no chance and was just stuck on his line. He was a constant goal threat throughout the game. He sent in very good crosses. One found Pulisic but the American's header was saved by Guaita. Alonso nearly had a second goal in the second half when he volleyed a pass from Jorginho. His attempt was also well saved by the Palace goalkeeper. Alonso gave a man of the match performance today. If Alonso continues the way he is going then Ben Chilwell will find it difficult to get back into the team. Number 5. Werner continues to keep defenders busy. Werner's indecision in front of goal continued as got to very good positions but still did not know what to do with the ball. He would have to really work hard in training for find the magic of scoring once again. But as usual, he kept the Palace defence very very busy for the 90 minutes with his runs. He constantly got behind the Palace defence who were struggling to keep up to his pace. If he can find his scoring boot once again and be decisive in the final third, then he will really push Chelsea far. First three points in the bag and from what happened this afternoon it is clear that the players have heard Thomas Tuchel's message. And that message is, we will hunt Man City, Man United and Liverpool from the start of the season. Al comments are welcome.
Come on you chels.